Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be playing around with the P. Louise If Looks Can Chill palette. This was part of their budget box. If you are not aware of P. Louise's budget boxes, they are a monthly subscription where you get access to new products, um, new launches for uh, cheaper than what it will be when it reaches their website. This palette was in it. This one was teased over on their TikTok. Some people think that it is super similar to the Michaela X P. Louise collab that just came out. So I did want to do a tutorial and review on this one palette here. If you guys would like to see me do a comparison swatches between these two palettes, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to do that. I will say, however, that they are pretty similar, but we're going to be focusing on this palette. I wanted to do a cute little halo eye. This is a pretty chunky palette. There is no price right now because again, it's not available yet online. Online. I'm not really sure when it will hit online or if it really will this year because of the Michaela collab but just to show you guys what it looks like this is the palette there are two sets of eyeshadows there's a little drawer on the bottom these are like teal shades so I want to go ahead and do this look with the P Louise if looks can chill palette Overall, I really like P. Louise's formula. I think this is a really great formula eyeshadow palette. So if they do release this on their website, I would highly recommend grabbing this. And I'd actually recommend grabbing this palette over the Michaela Clab because to me, this one is more blue toned if you're looking for a blue toned palette. Plus this one has less repeatable shades than the Michaela X P. Louise one. So I would recommend this one if it does hit the website over this one but both have a really great eyeshadow formula if you are wanting to try out the brand so we're going to be doing this look with the if looks can chill palette from p louise so if you are interested in that then just keep on watching so with eyes prepped and primed i'm going to dip into the shade ski later which is a really dark like navy and blue shade in the palette Honestly, if you have this palette, that shade and Take the Brisk are the exact same color. Um, there's no color differ differentiation um, between the two. Just to let you guys know, this palette, as well as the new Michaela XP Louise palette, have a lot of shade similarities um, between the two and also in the palette itself. Um, just to give you guys a heads up. Um, I am going to pack this color on the outer corner. I am doing a traditional cut crease halo eye. So I want to make sure that this um, darker shade is packed into my crease. And then I'll go into the shade Looks Could Kill and pack that on top of Ski Later. I will go between these two colors and blend them together. Make sure that we are starting our gradient um, nice and pigmented. And then I will dip into the shade Sweater Weather. I dipped into a little bit of sweat, sweater weather to um, create that light blue shade. And then I ultimately went into Snowfall, which is the white matte in the palette, and blended that out onto the edges. I will go into all the colors and just build up in layers just so that we have a nice gradient look. Um, and yeah, so it's just basic. Um, I'm doing that for the outer corner. For the inner corner, I wanted to use the second row, which uh, the second row of the palette, which has like more like tealy blue shades. Um, honestly, looking at the, you know, doing this voiceover, I feel like you can't really tell that that's teal. To me, they both look like just blue, but maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments down below if you can tell the color differentiations. Um, but yeah, so that's what I ended up doing in the front portion. So yeah, just build up these colors here. And then um, just my thoughts on this palette and the Michaela one. If you are wanting either of these, because I do believe that P. Louise will be um, putting this palette up on their website pretty soon, I would assume. Um, I would definitely get this palette over the Michaela one. I think this one, um, I just think it's more blue based than Michaela, if that's what you're looking for. Um, and I just think that even though this is like thick and chonky, I like this better than the Michaela. Michaela is like too big and flat, if that makes sense. Um, I also, I like the, how it glows or it like lights up, the high schools light up, but there's no way you can turn it off. There's no way that you can change the batteries. So to me, that's just kind of like wasteful. And I'd rather have this kind of chonky palette that doesn't like light up or anything like that. 
Um, and then, yeah, you also get like the blue greens in this palette versus the other one, which has the cool tone nudes. Um, just not a fan of those. I have those in like every other palette. Um, I would just rather have these like teal blue shades for the other one. So that's kind of my two cents. I would go with my, or I would go with this If Looks Can Chill palette over the Michaela palette. For the front portion, I'm going to be using the second row in this palette. It's going to be That's What She Sled. Some of these names are really, really funny. Also, I prefer the names in this palette over the Michaela one. Obviously, like, I don't know Michaela and the Michaela palette's more tailored to her, but these, like, pun names in this If Looks Can Chill palette are just funnier to me. But I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to start packing that on the inner portion of my eye, pack on the pigment, and then take a clean fluffy brush and blend out the edges. Just be careful not to take this color up too high because it is one of the darker shades. So we don't want to overwhelm the look too much. Make sure it does go in the crease and you connect it to that blue shade as well. Once I have the darker shade placed down, I did dip into the shade Misty Morning, and I placed that on top of That's What She Sled. Honestly, Misty Morning and Don't Be Bitter are the exact same shade. Um, that's kind of what I hate about these big Pillowese palettes is that she repeats all these shades. Um, they all look the same on the eye, and I don't get that at all. But I'm going to dip into Misty Morning, and I'm going to start packing that on top of That's What She Sled. I'll go between the two because That's What She Sled does get lighter, and I do need it to be really, really dark for the halo portion. And then I will go into the white matte shade in the palette and just dust that on the edges. Um, build up all three colors, make sure that everything is nice and pigmented. For the halo eye, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease um, because these colors are so dark and I am only going in with like a really light shimmer. I want to make sure that my um, eyelid is completely clean so make sure that you have um, like micelle water and make sure that it's super duper clean. Take your time, make sure everything is super duper sharp. Then I'll lay down some new base. Um, I will set it with a skin tone type shade and then I do go into the, sh the shimmer shade blizzard it looks like it's gonna be a white but it has a green a really beautiful green shift to it and that's what I'm gonna place all over my eye as far as blending this color into that shimmer I actually just went into that's what she sled and the darker blue shade and just carefully placed that into the shimmer I didn't take any other colors because um, I still wanted to keep it dark on the eyelid if that makes sense for the bottom lash line i did dip into the shade go outdoors um that is that very dark navy blue shade i did use like a nyx jumbo eye pencil in the navy shade as like a base um and yeah just add some lashes i believe they are from p louise i do like p louise's lashes lately so that is what we are wearing that is the entire look all together um, let me know in the comments down below if you are waiting for this palette or if you picked up the P. Louise X. Michaela palette or, it, you know, which one you like, what you guys think of both of them being released at the same time. Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!